Top thing we do and what we eat at SeaWorld Orlando. Hey everyone, this is Edwina and the boy. Welcome to SeaWorld Orlando, one of the most popular theme parks in Florida. If you were planning a trip to SeaWorld Orlando, you are in for trip because today I'm going to take you on a guided tour of SeaWorld Orlando and show you everything SeaWorld Orlando has to offer. From thrilling roller coasters, all of the top attractions and interactive exhibits to amazing marine shows that you wouldn't want to miss while you're here. But that's not all. We will also be giving you some insider tips to help you get the most out of your visit. So let's get your world adventure started. We start our clockwise tour with one of our favorite roller coasters in the park, the Manta. This stingray shaped roller coaster allows guests to encounter numerous spices of race before boarding. Reaches a top speed of 56 miles an hour and dive you head first, face down as you spin through four different interfaces, takes you on a 3,359 foot long roller coaster ride. An extreme ride that's not for the faint of heart and is one of the best roller coasters at SeaWorld. After an adrenaline full ride on Manta, we went to the aquarium. This walkthrough aquarium is located right next to the entrance of Manta and has 10 different unique naturalistic aquariums that are inhabited by more than 3,000 marine animals, including stingrays, starfish, seahorses, and various other fish and sea creatures. Since we didn't want to miss the thrilling dolphin adventure show, we decided to spend less time at the aquarium. This live performance featuring bottlenose dolphin was an absolute must-see for us. It offers a perfect blend of education and entertainment, make it one of our favorite shows in the park. Just a short walk from the Dolphin Stadium is the Dolphin Underwater Viewing Area, where you will get a chance to see the dolphins from a completely different angle. From here, we had our early lunch at Seafire Grill and then trying a lot of different food at Seven Seas Food Festival. Open at 11 a.m., this waterfront restaurant is part of SeaWorld All Day Dining Plan. Offers a chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, fries, and dessert. <laughs> Seven Seas Food Festival This festival takes place annually at SeaWorld Orlando, offers a variety of international cuisine from around the world. With over 180 different dishes to choose from, and our first try is smoked jerk chicken slider that comes with pineapple slaw and banana pepper which was okay. The chicken is not enough seasoning and a bit dry. Next, we went to the Foyager Smokehouse which is our favorite restaurant in the park. The Smokehouse Sampler is a must try, featuring tender pork ribs, flavorful beef brisket, and juicy smoked chicken. It is a satisfying and flavorsome meal in a rustic setting. We also try classic Reuben, lobster mac and cheese, and strawberry shortcut from the food festival. While the Reuben was a bit disappointing and the lobster mac and cheese didn't quite live up to expectation, the cheese and strawberry shortcut stole the show. This heavenly treat combined the sweetness of the strawberry sauce with the riches of the cheese in a flawless symphony of flavors. Each bite was a delightful blend of sweet and savory, creating a dessert that truly really highlighted the day. After lunch, we tried to get into the sky tower, but we are disappointed because they were closed. So we went to see Sea Lion and Otter Spotlight Show. This lively and entertaining show features the incredible talents of sea lions and otters. So showcasing their natural abilities and playful personalities. So, don't miss this delightful show during your visit to SeaWorld Orlando and be prepared to be amazed by these incredible talents of sea lions and otters as they perform impressive tricks, flips, and jumps. In addition to the sea lion and otter spotlight show, we have the opportunity to get up close and personal with sea lions and participate in the sea lion feeding through the sea lion point experience. Next is the Antarctica penguin encounter, where we get to see incredible popular penguin exhibit up close and personal. In here, we able to see the penguins waddle and swim through their snowy environments 
But I must warn you, this place was freezing cold. After Antarctica penguin encounter, we headed straight to the Kraken, an iconic roller coaster inspired by the legendary sea monster. This intense ride features multiple inversions, twists, and turns that will leave you breathless. With the added virtual reality element, you will be immersed in a thrilling world of mythical sea creatures, creating an unforgettable experience. So, if you are seeking an adrenaline rush, don't miss the chance to dive into the depth of the sea aboard Kraken. Moving on to the journey to Atlantis, a water coaster that takes you on a journey through the lost city of Atlantis. But since it was a long wait and we don't want to get wet, so we just skip it. Then we had our next food at Expedition Cafe where we choose orange chicken, fried rice, and pot sticker. Which to our pleasant surprise, they were tasty and delicious. As we ventured through the Seven Seas Food Festival, our taste buds were treated to a delightful array of flavors. And I couldn't resist trying the pastry fritters from Atlantic Market. They were delicious, savory with a delightful hint of spiciness. Another standout was the classic lobster roll, which was really good and tasty. Continuing our food adventure, we decided to try the burgers at Lakeside Grill. Unfortunately, we were left quite disappointed. The burger turned out to be dry and we had to say it, it reminded us of shoe leather in terms of texture. Next, we went to the Shark Encounter, a walkthrough attraction that takes you through an underwater tunnel. This tunnel has a moving walkway where you can see shark and other sea creatures up close. Another highlight of our visit was the Mako, a hyper roller coaster known for high speeds, deep dive, and thrills at every turn. Named after one of the ocean's fastest sharks, this roller coaster speeds up to 73 miles an hour and up to 200 feet high. Believe me when I say Mako is a ride you don't want to miss while you're visiting the SeaWorld Orlando. So gather your courage and get ready for an unforgettable coaster experience that will have you screaming with joy. After enjoying the trailing ride on Mako, we headed towards Infinity Falls, but we didn't want to get soaked, so we decided to skip the water rides. While exploring the area, we continued our food tour. The Moroccan grilled lamb chop and parmesan truffle fries from Mediterranean market along with the picanha steak from Brazilian market were absolutely amazing. However, the cheese bread with honey whipped butter was just average. Continuing our food journey at Asian market, my kind of jam. I started with the specialty cocktail, the Tokyo Rose. It was a refreshing blend of sake, vodka, triple sack, and cranberry. Next, we have guabao, grilled pork belly in a steamed bao bun served with pickled cucumber and shredded carrot. While the bun was soft, the meat was a bit tough and chewy. But oh boy, the real winners were the fried dumplings and salted caramel ice cream. It was an absolutely delight. Creamy, sweet, and salty. Yum! With our tummies full of yummy food, we made our way to the Orca Stadium to watch the incredible Orca Encounter Show. It was an awesome experience where we learned about the playfulness of killer whales. Next up is the Icebreaker Roller Coaster. Named after the icy Arctic summit, this a Mastra roller coaster offers combination of intense launches, twists, turn and a steep vertical drop. The unique feature of four air time launches, both forwards and backwards, adds an extra level of excitement. It's another epic ride that you don't want to skip. Finally, just across the walkway from Icebreaker, we visited Wild Arctic. We came face to face with beluga whales, 
getting a glimpse of what it's like to be in the Arctic. It was the perfect way to conclude our tour of SeaWorld Orlando. Now, let's talk about our tips. To make the most of your day at SeaWorld Orlando, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Number 1. Arrive early. The parks tend to get crowded later in the day, so arriving early will give you a chance to experience some of the popular attractions with shorter line. Number 2. If you have option, visit the park during weekday instead of the weekend. Number 3. Check show time. SeaWorld Orlando offers a variety of shows throughout the day, so be sure to check the schedule and plan your visit accordingly. Next, buy multiple entry tickets and consider a quick pass. This will allow you to skip the lines at some of the most popular attractions and make the most of your time in the park. Tips number 5. Buy all day dining plan. This will allow you to get a meal including one regular size non-alcoholic beverage every 90 minutes at most of SeaWorld restaurants. Last but not least, bring sunscreen and raincoat because when we were there, it was raining. And there you have it. Everything you need to know for your visit to SeaWorld Orlando. Overall, we had an incredible time at SeaWorld even though we didn't get a chance to ride the pipeline new roller coaster. Remember to plan ahead, stay hydrated, and have fun. And if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more.